Inquiring Mind, written and published by Anne Gaslife. Having a curious mind is incredibly valuable in a world full of opportunities for growth and endless possibilities. Curiosity fuels our desire to acquire new knowledge, gain different experiences, and explore various perspectives. Unlocking doors to personal and professional growth enables us to broaden our horizons and achieve our maximum potential. Inquiring Mind Unlocking the power of curiosity serves as a guide to assist you in tapping into your natural curiosity and directing it towards a continuous path of exploration. This book offers 10 crucial lessons to help you develop a curious mindset and maximize your learning opportunities. This book demonstrates how to turn everyday moments into opportunities for growth by recognizing and nurturing your curious feelings and setting intentional learning goals. Discover the significance of keeping a life journal and gaining knowledge from books, movies, and conversations with others. As you start this journey, you'll find that curiosity involves more than just gaining knowledge. It's also about discovering new places, meeting new people, and seeing challenges as chances for growth and problem. After reading this book, you will gain a better grasp of how curiosity can enhance your life and empower you to confidently navigate a dynamic world. Lesson 1. Be aware and identify your curious feeling. Ever since she was a young child, Imelda had been inquisitive and always looked for new experiences. But as she got older, she noticed that she was spending less and less time exploring her surroundings because of the pressures of her social life and school. She didn't know how much she had forgotten about her inquisitive nature until she began her first work after college. One day, Imelda was sitting through a dull meeting at work when she started to think about a program she had watched the previous evening about the ancient Egyptian pyramids. The thought that these amazing constructions had been constructed thousands of years ago without the use of contemporary equipment or technology captivated her. As her thoughts drifted, she became acutely aware of a sensation she hadn't felt in years, the spark of pure, unadulterated curiosity. This insight excited Imelda, and she resolved to actively cultivate her curiosity. She began asking herself questions and recording thoughts as they came to her during the day in a little notepad that she carried with her everywhere. Whether it was dining at a new restaurant in a different area of town or striking up a discussion with someone from a different cultural background, she also made it a point to seek out new experiences and viewpoints. Imelda saw that her intellect got more focused and active as she started to nurture her curiosity. She began to notice connections and subtleties that she had previously missed, giving her a fresh perspective on the world. As she approached each conversation with a true feeling of interest and openness, she also discovered that her contacts with others grew more meaningful and enriching. Imelda once came into a book about the histories of ancient civilizations while perusing a bookshop. She was intrigued and went on to purchase the book, spending weeks reading over its pages and becoming enthralled with the tales of long-lost nations and their amazing accomplishments. She was excited and filled with curiosity as she read, wanting to know more about the world and all of its mysteries. Motivated by her recently discovered love for history, Imelda made the decision to sign up for an ancient civilizations course at the nearby community college. She got to know a wide range of people there who were passionate about learning, just like she was, and they all worked to study the intricate web of human history and culture. Imelda's curiosity only deepened as a result of her studies and conversations with her classmates. She was always looking for new possibilities to learn and develop. Over the years, one of Imelda's most valuable qualities was her curious intellect, she was open-minded and enthusiastic about every new opportunity and challenge, constantly ready to pick up new skills and knowledge. Her interest and enthusiasm were contagious, and she became well-known among her friends and co-workers as someone who was constantly searching out fresh viewpoints and asking insightful questions. As she reflected on her path, 
Imelda came to the conclusion that cultivating a curious mind had been among her most fulfilling experiences. Through recognizing and fostering her inquisitive emotions, she had unlocked a realm of boundless opportunities and personal development. She had become a more involved, compassionate, and contented person as a result of realizing the joy of lifelong learning. Imelda grinned to herself as she read another book about ancient history while enjoying a latte at her favorite coffee shop. She was thankful for the inquisitive spark that had rekindled her passion for learning and led her on a never-ending path of exploration. She couldn't wait to see where her curious mind would lead her next, as she knew it would always inspire and encourage her. One of the most important steps in developing an inquiring mind is to recognize and acknowledge your feelings of curiosity. Curiosity is a natural human characteristic that motivates us to discover, gain knowledge, and develop. However, with our hectic schedules, we often tend to ignore or suppress these emotions. To fully utilize curiosity and develop an inquiring mind, it's important to acknowledge and welcome those times when we are intrigued by something new. Understanding ourselves better involves being more aware of our thoughts and emotions and being open to exploring them further. To better understand your curious feelings, start by closely observing your thoughts and reactions throughout the day. As you go through your day, try to pay attention to things that grab your attention. It might be an intriguing article you find online, an unknown word you read in a book or a stimulating comment from a colleague. When you feel curious, pause to recognize it and delve into it. Consider what draws you to this topic or experience and fully embrace the feelings of curiosity and enthusiasm. By acknowledging and exploring your curious feelings, you can start to condition your mind to be more open to new information and ideas. You begin to notice the world around you more keenly, becoming more in tune with the countless chances for learning and personal development present in each moment. Being more curious can help develop an inquiring mind, which is a skill that can be improved with practice. One way to recognize and develop your curiosity is by asking yourself questions. When you come across something that catches your attention, don't just ignore it. Instead, spend a few minutes exploring your own curiosity. Consider why this specific topic or experience has piqued your interest. What makes it so captivating to you? Is this a new concept for you? Or does it tie into something you already know? By exploring your curiosity, you can discover the underlying motivations and passions that fuel your desire to learn. Posing questions is a valuable technique for nurturing a curious mindset, as it prompts you to engage with the world with a sense of awe and receptiveness. Asking questions shows your genuine interest in learning more about a specific topic or idea. You show a readiness to participate in meaningful conversations and to take into account viewpoints that may differ from your own. Having an open and curious mindset is crucial for both personal and intellectual development and is a defining trait of people with genuinely inquiring minds. Identifying your curious feelings is the initial step. To foster a curious mind, it's important to establish a supportive environment. Surround yourself with people, literature, and activities that question your beliefs. Expose you to fresh concepts and encourage you to step out of your mental comfort zone. Look for chances to have interesting discussions with people from various backgrounds and areas of knowledge. Explore a variety of perspectives and ideas by reading extensively. Participate in lectures, workshops, and conferences that delve into subjects that pique your curiosity, even if they are not typically within your usual interests. Immerse yourself in a variety of ideas and experiences to cultivate your curiosity. You start to view the world with infinite potential, becoming more willing to explore new ideas and perspectives. Being exposed to various perspectives and ways of thinking is crucial for nurturing a curious mind. It encourages you to challenge your own assumptions and biases, fostering intellectual humility and flexibility in how you engage with the world. 
Another important aspect of fostering your curiosity is to make room in your life for exploring and trying new things. In today's busy world focused on achieving goals, it can be challenging to find time for personal interests and passions amidst work, family, and social responsibilities. If we aim to cultivate a curious mind, it's important to set aside time for intellectual exploration and development. You could consider dedicating a few hours every week to delve into a subject that interests you or to engage in a project that lets you explore your creative side. Consider enrolling in a class or workshop on a new subject or volunteering for an organization to gain exposure to diverse perspectives and lifestyles. It's important to focus on your curiosity and make sure to nurture it consistently. Undoubtedly, nurturing a curious mindset can be challenging at times. Exploring new ideas and experiences can lead us to come across information that questions our current beliefs and assumptions. Encountering different perspectives can make us feel uneasy or threatened, leading us to seek comfort in what is familiar. Yet, it is during these challenging times that the most significant learning and development can take place. Embracing discomfort and confronting challenging ideas can lead to personal transformation. We start to perceive the world in fresh and intricate manners, enhancing our ability to empathize, comprehend, and think critically. Ultimately, fostering a curious mind involves being open to uncertainty and comfortable with not having all the answers. It involves being receptive to the idea that our current knowledge of the world might be lacking or incorrect, and that there are always new things to explore and understand. While it may seem overwhelming at first, it is also a thrilling opportunity that brings forth countless possibilities and chances for development. Aside from fostering a setting that encourages curiosity and allowing room for intellectual exploration, there are several other important strategies to develop a curious mind. One example is the practice of reflecting on things. Reflecting on your experiences, thoughts, and feelings can assist in processing new information and ideas, integrating them into your existing knowledge and understanding. You can start by keeping a journal to jot down things that catch your interest daily or by making time for quiet reflection and self-examination. It could also mean having frequent conversations with, like, minded people to exchange thoughts and viewpoints in a cooperative and encouraging setting. Another crucial practice for nurturing an inquiring mind involves developing a growth mindset. This involves accepting that your skills and intelligence are not set in stone, but can improve with time and hard work. Embracing a growth mindset means being open to challenges and persevering through obstacles, viewing setbacks as chances for personal growth. Developing a growth mindset involves being open to taking risks and pushing beyond your comfort zone. It may require experimenting with new approaches, even when unsure of the outcome or voicing your thoughts in intimidating or uncertain circumstances. Challenging yourself to take such risks helps you develop resilience and confidence, while also creating chances for learning and personal growth. Ultimately, Fostering a curious mindset necessitates a dedication to continuous learning. There is always something new to discover and explore as the world changes. Embrace the concept that learning is continuous, allowing you to face each day with enthusiasm and anticipation, aware that there are always new things to discover and encounter. One way to do this is by dedicating time each day to reading, reflecting, or exploring new ideas, or by actively looking for chances to learn and develop consistently. You may also need to build a community of like-minded people who are passionate about learning and who can provide both support and encouragement as you progress. Ultimately, cultivating a curious mindset is a continuous journey that demands mindfulness, purpose, and commitment. By understanding and nurturing your curiosity, establishing a supportive environment for intellectual exploration, and developing habits of reflection, risk, taking, and lifelong learning, 
you can unleash your mind's full potential and view the world with wonder, openness, and possibility. Although the journey may present challenges, the rewards, both personal and intellectual, are invaluable and can have a truly transformative impact on your life and the lives of those around you. Lesson 2. Set your intention on learning something new each day. Engaging in daily learning can significantly impact your intellectual growth and personal development. By actively pursuing new knowledge and experiences regularly, you can train your mind to become more open, curious, and involved with the world. Focusing on learning something new daily goes beyond just gathering facts and information. It's all about fostering a mindset of being open, curious, and willing to explore. Approaching each day with the intention of discovering something new opens up a world of endless possibilities. You start noticing the chances for learning and growth in every moment, which sparks a deeper curiosity and enthusiasm for lifelong learning. One advantage of focusing on daily learning is that it keeps your mind active and engaged. Similar to how physical exercise strengthens and tones the body, consistent mental exercise helps maintain the brain's sharpness and agility. By making an effort to learn something new daily, you can help your mind expand and grow, creating new neural connections and enhancing your cognitive abilities. Furthermore, acquiring new knowledge on a daily basis can bring great satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment. Exploring a topic you're interested in or learning a new skill can bring a sense of accomplishment and pride in your growth. Receiving positive feedback can be a strong motivator, inspiring you to keep exploring new learning chances and striving for greater levels of comprehension and expertise. Certainly, it can be challenging to commit to learning something new every day. In the midst of hectic schedules, competing priorities, and endless distractions, it's common to let our dedication to learning slip away. It's crucial to incorporate learning into your daily routine, similar to brushing your teeth or getting dressed in the morning. One way to establish a routine for learning is by allocating specific time for it every day. You could consider waking up a bit earlier to read a chapter of a book or utilizing your lunch break to watch an educational video or listen to a podcast. It's important to set aside a dedicated time for learning and make sure to prioritize it over other tasks and distractions. One way to make learning a part of your daily routine is to look for chances to learn during your usual daily tasks. One way to broaden your horizons is by engaging in conversations with people from diverse backgrounds or by changing your daily commute to see things from a new perspective. Embrace each day with curiosity and openness to discover learning and growth in everyday moments. Certainly, focusing on learning something new daily doesn't require delving into intricate or obscure topics all the time. At times, the most impactful learning experiences arise from exploring straightforward, practical, or even playful topics. Approach every learning opportunity with enthusiasm and curiosity, and stay open to the insights and discoveries that come your way. Setting your intention on daily learning brings the joy of exploring various subjects and ideas over time. By making a daily commitment to learning, you allow yourself to explore your curiosity and pursue your interests freely. There is always something new to discover and explore, whether you're interested in science, art, history, or politics. Furthermore, by regularly exposing yourself to a variety of ideas and perspectives, you can gain a more nuanced and sophisticated understanding of the world. You start to notice the connections and relationships among various fields of knowledge, gaining a deeper appreciation for the complexity and depth of the human experience. Another great advantage of focusing on daily learning is that it can help you develop a deeper sense of empathy and compassion for others. Developing a more open and inclusive worldview starts with seeking out new perspectives and ideas. You gain a deeper understanding of the experiences and obstacles encountered by people from various backgrounds and lifestyles, which helps you cultivate more compassion and forge stronger connections. Moreover, 
focusing on learning something new daily can positively influence your professional and academic endeavors, in addition to personal benefits. In today's fast-paced world, the capacity to quickly learn and adapt is crucial for success in various fields. Developing a routine of learning every day helps stay ahead and succeed in a constantly changing environment. Furthermore, the expertise and information you gain from everyday learning can frequently become valuable assets in your career or studies. Acquiring knowledge in a new language, software program, or field of research can provide you with valuable expertise and insights, leading to new opportunities and setting you apart from others. Learning something new every day can be challenging, and there will be times when it's hard to stay committed. During challenging times, it's crucial to show yourself kindness and compassion, and to keep in mind that learning is a continuous journey with many unexpected paths. One way to overcome challenges and stay motivated is to connect with a group of people who have similar interests and goals. You could consider joining a book club, attending a workshop or conference, or participating in an online forum or discussion group. Surround yourself with people dedicated to continuous learning to receive the necessary support, motivation, and encouragement to persevere. In the end, focusing on learning something new every day involves embracing curiosity, wonder, and exploration. Embrace the idea that the world offers countless chances for personal development and exploration. By dedicating ourselves to continuous learning, we invite a more rewarding and purposeful life. As you start your daily learning journey, keep an open mind and stay enthusiastic about the possibilities each day brings. Embrace challenges and setbacks as chances for growth and resilience and celebrate the joys and insights that come your way. By making a commitment to learn something new every day, you are taking a significant step towards unleashing your mind's full potential and embracing a life filled with curiosity, growth, and exploration. Lesson 3. Seize every moment in your life. It's crucial to embrace the concept of making the most of every moment in your life. Approaching each day with purpose, presence, and intentionality involves acknowledging that every experience, encounter, and challenge offers opportunities for learning, growth, and discovery. Cultivating a mindset of active engagement and curiosity can lead to a world of endless possibility and insight. Essentially, Making the most of every moment involves being completely focused and aware of your surroundings. It's all about releasing distractions, preconceptions, and limiting beliefs and embracing each moment with an open, curious, and receptive mindset. Being completely focused on the present moment allows you to notice the details of your surroundings and enhances your ability to observe, reflect, and gain insights. One advantage of making the most of each moment is that it fosters mindfulness and self-awareness. By focusing on your thoughts, emotions, and experiences in the present moment, you gain a better insight into yourself and your role in the world. You start to understand your strengths, weaknesses, and areas for growth better, leading to improved self-reflection and personal development. Furthermore, Taking advantage of each moment can enhance our connection and empathy towards others. Approaching every interaction with presence and curiosity fosters genuine dialogue, understanding, and report. You will better understand the needs, perspectives, and experiences of those around you, leading to increased compassion, collaboration, and social intelligence. Another great advantage of making the most of every moment is that it can boost your creativity and problem solving abilities. Approaching challenges and obstacles with curiosity and an open mind can help you generate new ideas and solutions. You will gain the ability to view problems from various angles and perspectives, which will enhance your divergent thinking and innovation skills. Undoubtedly, making the most of every moment can be challenging, especially in a world full of distractions and various demands on our time and focus. It's common to get swept up in the busyness of everyday life. 
going through the motions without taking advantage of opportunities for personal development. It's crucial to actively work on developing a mindset focused on being present and engaged. An effective way to make the most of each moment is to regularly engage in mindfulness and meditation. By dedicating a few moments every day to calming your mind, concentrating your focus, and examining your thoughts and emotions without criticism, you enhance your ability to be more present, clear, and perceptive. Approaching each moment with a calm and composed attitude helps you navigate both challenges and opportunities more effectively. Another important strategy for making the most of every moment is to develop a sense of curiosity and wonder about the world around you. This involves approaching every experience and interaction with a fresh perspective, releasing any preconceived notions, and being receptive to different viewpoints. It involves questioning, exploring new information and experiences, and being open to challenging your own beliefs and assumptions when needed. One effective method to spark curiosity and amazement is to develop a routine of acquiring new knowledge daily. You could consider reading a book or article on a topic that catches your interest or having a conversation with someone who has diverse experiences or expertise. By regularly exposing yourself to new ideas and perspectives, you can keep your mind active, engaged, and open to growth and discovery. One crucial element of making the most of every opportunity is being open to pushing your boundaries and embracing challenges. It involves embracing new experiences and challenges even when they seem overwhelming or scary. It involves being open to failing, making errors, and gaining insights from your setbacks and failures. Embracing discomfort and uncertainty helps you enhance your abilities, broaden your horizons, and build resilience, adaptability, and growth. Certain moments can feel ordinary, challenging, or even distressing. Even during challenging times, there are valuable lessons to be gained, such as patience, perseverance, and self-compassion. Approaching each moment with an open mind and curiosity is essential. Trust that difficult experiences can lead to growth and wisdom. It's important to understand that each experience, encounter, and challenge has the potential for growth, discovery, and transformation. By embracing a mindset focused on being present, curious, and engaged, you unlock a world of opportunities and wisdom. This approach helps you build the skills needed for success and fulfillment in every aspect of life. Developing a curious mind is a journey that lasts a lifetime, with inevitable challenges, obstacles, and moments of doubt. By remaining dedicated to your personal growth and development, surrounding yourself with supportive and inspiring people, and approaching each moment with openness and possibility, you can unleash your mind's full potential and live a life filled with curiosity, wonder, and discovery. It's all about developing a way of existing in the world that is defined by being fully engaged, having clear intentions, and embracing opportunities. It's important to see every moment as a chance to learn, grow, and connect, and to be brave and curious enough to seize those chances wholeheartedly. Embrace each moment to cultivate a curious and active mind, leading to a rewarding and purposeful life. Lesson 4. Create a life journal and write things down. To develop an inquiring mind, creating a life journal and writing things down is a powerful tool. Regularly jotting down your thoughts, experiences, and reflections can significantly impact your intellectual and personal development. Embracing the practice of journaling allows you to explore and gain valuable insights that can enhance your connection with the world. Creating a life journal is fundamentally about developing a routine of self-reflection and contemplation. It's important to find moments to pause in the midst of a busy life and focus on exploring your own thoughts and feelings. Writing in your journal provides a special place for you to express and explore your innermost thoughts, emotions, and dreams. One important advantage of maintaining a life journal is that it can enhance your thinking and observational skills. When you articulate your experiences and thoughts, you are compelled to confront them more directly and tangibly. 
you start noticing patterns and connections that might have been hard to see before, leading to improved analysis, synthesis, and critical thinking skills. Furthermore, writing can serve as a strong trigger for gaining new insights and comprehension. Writing by hand or typing can stimulate our creativity and intuition. While writing, you might notice that fresh ideas and different viewpoints surface naturally, as if from a profound source of knowledge and insight. Exploring new hobbies or interests can uncover hidden talents and passions you never knew you had. Another great advantage of maintaining a life journal is that it offers a record of your personal growth and progress over time. Reflecting on past journal entries allows you to appreciate your progress, growth, and changing perspectives and priorities. This can serve as a source of inspiration and motivation, reminding you of your strength, flexibility, and capacity for growth. Undoubtedly, establishing a life journal can be challenging, demanding a certain degree of dedication and consistency. It's common to neglect practicing due to the busyness of daily life. Or to hold back because of fear or self-doubt, it's crucial to embrace journaling with an open mind, curiosity, and kindness, and to incorporate it into your daily routine without fail. An effective way to create a life journal is by dedicating a specific time each day for writing and ensuring that this time is not interrupted by other tasks or distractions. It could involve getting up a little earlier in the morning. Or setting aside a peaceful spot in the evening once work or family responsibilities are completed, developing a regular habit of journaling is crucial for making it a seamless and indispensable part of your routine. One important strategy for successful journaling is to be honest, authentic, and vulnerable. It involves being open to examining all your thoughts, emotions, and encounters, even when they are challenging, uneasy, or distressing. It involves facing your own limitations, biases, and areas for growth, and using your journal for self-reflection and personal development. Enhance your journaling practice by using prompts or questions to help direct your writing. These could be straightforward questions such as "What am I thankful for today?" or "What difficulties am I dealing with currently?" Alternatively, they could be more focused and precise. Such as what lesson did I take away from the challenging discussion I had yesterday, or how can I enhance my presence and mindfulness in my relationships? Utilizing prompts can help direct your writing, allowing you to delve into different topics and perspectives, and encouraging deeper reflection on your life and experiences. One key element in developing a life journal is to tackle it with a mindset of creativity and trying new things. It involves being open to experimenting with different formats, styles, and approaches to journaling, allowing your writing to develop and transform as time goes by. Begin with a basic lined notebook and a pen, then explore more visual and artistic ways to express yourself, such as sketching, collaging, or mind mapping. Make sure your journaling practice reflects your people voice and perspective. In the end, establishing a life journal involves more than just documenting your experiences and thoughts. It involves developing a closer connection with yourself and the world. By dedicating time to delve into your thoughts and feelings, pondering life's important questions, and expressing your people, viewpoint, and experiences, you enhance your self-awareness, empathy, and comprehension. The revelations and findings that arise from your journaling can greatly influence your personal and professional life. They can assist you in understanding your values and priorities, making improved decisions and choices, and navigating life's challenges and opportunities with more wisdom and resilience. They can assist you in forming deeper connections and communicating your thoughts and viewpoints clearly, ultimately fostering stronger and more significant relationships. As you start creating your life journal, remember to approach it with patience, persistence, and an open heart. Challenges and doubts may arise, but staying dedicated to your practice, seeking support from inspiring sources, and trusting in your own abilities can help you unleash your full potential and lead a life filled with curiosity and growth.
It takes bravery and curiosity to honestly and openly delve into your inner world. Creating a life journal and jotting down your thoughts can help you cultivate a curious mind and lead a more meaningful and purposeful life. Lesson 5. Spend your time reading books in library. Jenny was always a curious child, asking questions and eager to gain new knowledge. As she got older, school and social activities started to consume more of her time, limiting her chances to pursue her interests and passions. Jenny found her passion for learning again when she began college, all thanks to the large and welcoming library located at the heart of the campus. As soon as Jenny entered the library, she was filled with excitement and a sense of endless possibilities. The tall bookshelves, inviting reading corners, and quiet ambiance of focus and reflection resonated with her. She understood that this was a place to immerse herself in the realm of ideas and creativity, a place to nourish her curious mind and broaden her knowledge of the world. Jenny initially felt a bit overwhelmed by the large number of books and resources at her disposal. She was unsure about where to start or which book to read initially. However, as she delved into the various library sections, following her curiosity and instincts, she began to experience the delight of unexpected learning. She often chose books spontaneously, attracted by their interesting titles or covers, and was quickly immersed in different worlds and viewpoints. Jenny started spending increasing amounts of time at the library, forming a consistent routine of reading and studying. She dedicated a few hours daily to sitting in her favorite library corner, surrounded by books and deep in contemplation. She made a habit of taking notes, asking questions, and actively engaging with the text she came across. This helped her to think critically and creatively about the ideas and arguments presented. As time passed, Jenny's passion for reading and learning started to bring about significant changes in her. She grew more self-assured and eloquent, confidently sharing her ideas and viewpoints. She grew in empathy and open-mindedness, learning to value and comprehend diverse perspectives and experiences. She grew increasingly curious and involved in the world, constantly pursuing new knowledge and insights to enhance her understanding and expand her horizons. Jenny's dedication to learning stood out to her professors and peers. She was recognized as the person to go to for little-known information, deep questions, and thoughtful analysis. She received invitations to participate in study groups, research projects, and intellectual discussions. This allowed her to both share her knowledge and gain insights from like-minded people who also enjoyed exploring and learning. As Jenny neared graduation, she discovered that her time in the library had provided her with more than just a set of facts and ideas. It provided her with a way to navigate the world, a method of exploration and involvement that would remain with her forever. She understood that no matter where she went or what she did, she would always hold on to the passion for learning and the sense of wonder that had been cultivated in the peaceful nooks of the library. Years later, Jenny... Now a successful researcher and writer still found time to visit her local library and get lost in the stacks. She scanned the shelves, searching for hidden gems and unexpected treasures, just like she did in college. She would often find herself in the reading room, enveloped by the quiet atmosphere of focus and deep thought, experiencing a comforting feeling of returning to a familiar place. For Jenny... The library held greater significance than being just a structure filled with books. It was a special place, a refuge for her thoughts, where she could always discover comfort, creativity, and amazement. It was a place where she could rediscover her deepest passions and highest aspirations, and where she could keep evolving and exploring, regardless of life's direction. While Jenny was engrossed in a book at the library, she was filled with a deep sense of gratitude. She appreciated the library for everything it had provided her, knowledge, skills, perspective, and a passion for learning that had influenced her life in various ways. She was confident that as long as libraries existed, curious minds like hers 
would have a space to grow and prosper. One effective way to cultivate a curious mind is by dedicating time to reading books at the library. Libraries are more than just places to store information. They are special places that encourage us to learn, grow, and broaden our perspectives. Exploring the wide range of books available at a library can introduce you to new ideas, perspectives, and possibilities that may change how you view the world. Reading involves both intellectual and emotional engagement. Reading a book is like engaging in a dialogue with the author, connecting across time, space, and culture, encountering new ideas, perspectives, and ways of seeing the world can challenge your assumptions, broaden your horizons, and deepen your understanding of the human experience. Reading involves more than just absorbing information. It's a dynamic process that demands your complete focus, inquisitiveness, and analytical abilities. Reading books in the library introduces you to a variety of voices, perspectives, and genres. Beyond your usual experiences, libraries are welcoming places with a wide range of books covering various topics such as science, history, literature, philosophy, poesophy, poetry, fiction, memoir, and biography. Exploring this diverse range of human knowledge and creativity helps you gain a deeper understanding of the world, acknowledging the importance of various viewpoints and the interconnected nature of everything. Furthermore, reading books at the library can foster a passion for learning that goes beyond school or work. Reading for enjoyment and curiosity, rather than solely for work or obligations, allows you to access a stronger sense of motivation and interest. Embrace a mindset of continuous learning, always eager to explore new concepts, abilities, and adventures, while maintaining a curious, modest, and receptive attitude towards the world. One great advantage of spending time in the library is the opportunity it offers for deep concentration and focused attention. Amidst the chaos of digital distractions and overwhelming information, the library stands out as a peaceful retreat. Reading a book in the library allows you to surround yourself with silence and stillness, creating a space to fully immerse yourself in the world of ideas and imagination. Giving this level of focused attention is crucial for nurturing a curious mind capable of tackling challenging issues coming up with innovative answers, and analyzing the world thoughtfully. Reading books in the library can be challenging and demands discipline and commitment. It's easy to get distracted by conversations or social media, or to quickly skim through a book without fully engaging with its ideas and arguments. It's crucial to read with intention, purpose, and presence, and establish a consistent habit of studying at the library. An effective way to maximize your time in the library is to establish clear goals and intentions for your reading. You could start by pinpointing a specific topic or question you wish to delve into or by establishing a daily goal for the number of pages or chapters to read. You could consider developing a reading schedule that fits well with your existing commitments and responsibilities, enabling you to make consistent progress. Another important strategy for successful library reading involves actively and critically interacting with the texts you come across. It involves questioning connecting ideas and questioning assumptions while reading instead of just absorbing information without thinking. This involves jotting down notes, marking important sections, and thinking about how the ideas you come across can be used. When you read actively and engage with the material, you enhance your comprehension and memory. This approach also helps cultivate a curious and analytical mindset for thinking creatively and critically. Reading books in the library allows for unexpected and exciting discoveries. Exploring the stacks and shelves of a library can lead to discovering hidden treasures, making unexpected connections, and igniting new passions. You may come across a book that alters your life, a text that questions your assumptions, or an author that becomes a lifelong companion and mentor. Experiencing this type of unexpected discovery at the library is truly a wonderful gift that has the power to enhance and broaden your mind in numerous ways. 
Engage with ideas and imagination. Ponder big questions and challenges of human existence, and cultivate a passion for learning that goes beyond the library walls to become a more thoughtful, compassionate, and engaged community member. It can also enhance your ability to understand others, think creatively, and envision new possibilities, which can positively impact your relationships, work, and overall well-being. As you start your library exploration journey. Keep an open mind, stay curious, and remain humble. There may be times of confusion, frustration, and doubt, but by staying dedicated to the practice, seeking support from resources and communities, and trusting in your intellect and imagination, you can unleash your mind's potential and lead a life of continuous learning and growth. It's all about embracing a mindset filled with curiosity, insight, and direction. It's all about understanding that the realm of ideas and imagination holds immense beauty, significance, and potential for change. And being brave and curious enough to delve into it with enthusiasm, determination, and elegance. Reading books in the library helps you cultivate a curious mind and leads to a rewarding life with numerous opportunities for personal development and exploration. Lesson six. Watch movies that give you knowledge and good values. Watching movies can take us on journeys to various time periods, locations, and viewpoints, enabling us to delve into fresh concepts, feelings, and adventures in an engaging and enlightening manner. By choosing movies that provide valuable insights, moral lessons, and intellectual stimulation, we can develop a more curious, empathetic, and principled mindset that enhances our understanding of ourselves and the world. Movies, at their peak, offer more than just a means of escaping reality. They represent an art form that mirrors and influences our cultural values, beliefs, and dreams. Movies have the power to challenge our assumptions, broaden our horizons. And inspire us to think more deeply about the human condition through the stories they tell, the characters they create, and the themes they explore. They have the ability to introduce us to fresh ideas and viewpoints, familiarize us with diverse cultures and lifestyles, and assist us in gaining a deeper and more empathetic comprehension of the intricacies of human existence. Watching educational movies can inspire a passion for learning and self-improvement. Watching a movie that introduces new ideas or encourages us to think differently can be very fulfilling, both intellectually and emotionally. If the movie resonates with us, we might feel compelled to delve deeper into its themes and apply its lessons to our personal lives and relationships. Furthermore. Films that advocate positive principles can influence our moral development and ethical choices. These films introduce characters dealing with tough decisions and moral challenges, which can enhance our moral compass and encourage virtues like honesty, integrity, compassion, and courage. They can also assist us in identifying and overcoming negative influences and temptations, as well as defending our beliefs in challenging situations. Another great advantage of watching movies that provide knowledge and positive values is that they can promote empathy and understanding among various cultures, backgrounds, and experiences. These films can break down stereotypes and prejudices by showcasing diverse lives and perspectives, fostering a more inclusive and compassionate worldview. They can also assist us in acknowledging our universal humanity and the collective challenges and dreams that bring us together, despite our surface distinctions. Certainly, not all movies are alike in terms of imparting knowledge and encouraging positive values. We should carefully choose films that provide valuable insights, inspiration, and moral guidance. It might be necessary to do some research and reflection, and be open to exploring challenging or unfamiliar content. One useful approach to discovering movies that provide valuable insights and positive messages is to ask for suggestions from reliable sources like film critics, educators, or like minded friends. We can search for movies that have been highly praised by critics or have won awards for their artistic and intellectual value. 
as well as those recognized for their positive social or cultural influence. Moreover, we can explore movies from various time periods, societies, and types to expand our understanding of diverse concepts and viewpoints. When watching these films, it's crucial to keep an open and curious mindset and to actively engage with them while being critical. It involves focusing on the themes, messages, and values being communicated and questioning their significance and applicability to our lives and society. It also involves being open to questioning our own assumptions and biases and being willing to explore different perspectives and understandings. Watching movies that offer valuable knowledge and positive values can spark meaningful discussions and introspection. Watching these films, whether alone or with others, can spark meaningful conversations and debates about the ideas and issues they present. We can exchange our personal insights and experiences, listen to different perspectives, and participate in a collaborative learning and growth journey. Choosing to watch movies that offer valuable knowledge and positive values goes beyond just gaining information or seeking entertainment. It's all about developing a mindset focused on curiosity, empathy, and wisdom. Experiencing a variety of ideas and experiences through films helps us gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and others, providing us with the tools and inspiration to create a positive impact. Furthermore, this habit's advantages reach well beyond the people level. By supporting films that encourage education, morals, and community involvement, we contribute to a society that prioritizes these principles. We aim to enhance public discussions by providing valuable insights and contribute to creating a fairer, kinder, and stronger society. In today's world, it is more important than ever to have a curious and morally responsible population. By incorporating educational and morally uplifting movies into our routine, we can contribute to a more positive world for both current and future generations. Developing a habit of watching movies that provide knowledge and good values demands discipline, intentionality, and persistence. It's not always a walk in the park to look for movies that push our intellectual and moral boundaries or to truly connect with them. By dedicating ourselves to this practice and offering support to others with the same dedication, we can establish a positive cycle of learning, development, and change. Ultimately, the benefits of this habit make it all worthwhile. Watching movies that provide valuable knowledge and positive values helps broaden our perspectives and contribute to a culture of curiosity, compassion, and civic engagement that can positively impact our world. Let's wholeheartedly adopt this habit, understanding that each movie we watch can enhance our lives and impact the world positively. As we start this journey of exploring and discovering cinema, let's do so with open minds, open hearts, and a strong sense of purpose. Let's find movies that inspire and motivate us, using them to spark personal and social change. Stories have a strong influence on how we perceive ourselves and the world, leading us towards a more positive future. Lesson 7. Make friends with new people. Human connection and social interaction are essential for our emotional well-being and play a significant role in fostering intellectual growth, creativity, and discovery. Actively seeking and nurturing friendships with people from various backgrounds, perspectives, and experiences can introduce us to new ideas, insights, and possibilities, enhancing our understanding of ourselves and the world. Friendship goes beyond mere companionship or common interests. It's all about establishing a space where trust, respect, and vulnerability are key. Here, we can freely be ourselves, delve into our profound thoughts and dreams, and gain insights from each other's people, strengths, and struggles. When we befriend new people, we engage in a mutual exchange of knowledge, wisdom, and support that can contribute to our personal growth and well-being. Making friends with new people allows us to gain exposure to a broader range of perspectives, experiences, and ways of thinking. Every people we encounter carries a distinct set of values, beliefs, skills, and stories influenced by their personal experiences and cultural backgrounds. 
By exploring various perspectives and life stories, we can question our own beliefs, expand our knowledge, and gain a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of human diversity. By truly connecting with others and striving to comprehend their experiences, we develop a greater appreciation for the variety and depth of human life. We start to understand and connect with the common experiences, challenges, and dreams that bring us together, despite our surface distinctions, fostering empathy, teamwork, and community involvement. Surrounding ourselves with people who have diverse talents, passions, and expertise allows us to access a wealth of knowledge and experience, opening up new perspectives. One might stumble upon new interests or hobbies previously unknown, or feel motivated to tackle challenges or projects that test their limits and expand their skills. Being open to stepping out of our comfort zones, taking risks, embracing vulnerability, and actively pursuing connections and engagement is essential. One way to expand our social circle is by joining clubs or organizations that match our interests, attending events or workshops that bring together people from different backgrounds, or starting conversations with strangers in our daily lives. We can ask sincere questions, listen carefully to other stories and perspectives, and provide our own insights and support in a respectful and empowering manner. By fostering a culture of mutual learning and growth, we establish a strong foundation of trust and reciprocity that can enhance and strengthen our friendships as time goes on. One effective approach to building connections with new people is to actively and purposefully engage with a variety of social groups and communities. It might be necessary to go beyond our comfort zones and interact with people or groups who may challenge our existing beliefs or perspectives. It may also require effort to overcome obstacles related to language, culture, or socioeconomic differences that can impede genuine connection and comprehension. When building these varied friendships, it's crucial to do so with humility, empathy, and cultural sensitivity. We need to recognize our limitations and biases, listen to others' experiences and perspectives, and continuously reflect and grow. We need to consider power dynamics and social inequities that can influence our interactions and strive to establish inclusive, fair, and respectful environments. In the end, forming connections with unfamiliar people goes beyond simply growing our circle of friends or gaining fresh insights. It's all about embracing a mindset focused on curiosity, empathy, and interconnectedness in our daily lives. By connecting with people from diverse backgrounds, we can expand our perspectives and foster a more inclusive and united society. Making new friends opens up possibilities for social involvement, activism, and creating change. We can use our various networks and viewpoints to tackle challenging issues, promote fairness and equality, and create alliances of backing and unity. We can demonstrate inclusivity, empathy, and collaboration in both our personal and professional lives, encouraging others to do the same and generate a positive social impact. Making friends with new people involves being intentional, putting in effort, and being persistent. Reaching out to others, navigating cultural differences or communication barriers, and maintaining relationships over time can sometimes be challenging. By dedicating ourselves to this practice and offering support to others with the same dedication, we can establish a positive cycle of connection, development, and change. We aim to build a tapestry of human connection and unity that can endure the difficulties and differences of our era. And that can spark optimism and potential for future generations. As we begin this journey of social exploration and discovery, let's approach it with open minds, open hearts, and a strong sense of purpose. Let's find friendships that push us, motivate us, and spur us to action, using them to drive personal and collective change. Let's always remember how human connections can influence our self-awareness and perspective, leading us towards a more positive future. In a world filled with division and mistrust, forming friendships with new people can be a radical and transformative action. 
Breaking down barriers of fear and prejudice, fostering empathy and understanding across differences, and creating a sense of shared humanity and purpose that goes beyond our people, identities, and experiences. By nurturing this practice with purpose and attention, we can enhance our own curiosity and also help create a fair, empathetic, and united world for everyone. Lesson 8. Go and explore new places. Exploring new places is a fantastic way to cultivate a curious and open mind. Exploring new places, cultures, and lifestyles can spark curiosity, challenge assumptions, and broaden our worldview. Actively seeking new experiences and perspectives through travel and exploration helps cultivate a mindset of openness, adaptability, and wonder, which is crucial for intellectual growth and personal development. Exploration goes beyond simply traveling to new places or completing tasks on a list. It's all about embracing an adventurous spirit, taking risks, and discovering new things that challenge us and push us beyond our comfort zones. Exploring new places involves moving away from our usual routines and entering a realm of new experiences and opportunities. We start to notice and appreciate the beauty, complexity, and diversity of the world, which helps us value the richness and interconnectedness of human experience. One great advantage of traveling to new destinations is the opportunity to experience different sights, sounds, and customs. Every new place we visit presents a distinct blend of visuals, sounds, scents, and feelings that can inspire our creativity and pique our interest. Exploring different locations, whether in a busy city or a peaceful natural setting, can offer valuable insights about the world and ourselves. Furthermore, discovering new locations can nurture empathy, cultural sensitivity, and global awareness, which are crucial for cultivating a curious mind. Exploring various cultures and communities allows us to better understand the diversity of human experiences and the unique challenges and opportunities that influence people's lives. We are taught to view the world from various angles, challenge our biases and assumptions, and participate in respectful and meaningful conversations across differences. Exploring new environments and breaking routines can lead to fresh ideas, connections, and opportunities. We might come across surprising sources of knowledge or inspiration, or we might be prompted to think in fresh and creative ways about the issues we encounter in our personal and professional lives. Undoubtedly, discovering unfamiliar destinations can be challenging and unsettling, particularly when we are traveling well outside our familiar cultural or linguistic boundaries. Embracing discomfort, uncertainty, and vulnerability and being adaptable to new situations and challenges with flexibility and resilience is essential. Proper planning, preparation, and resources are necessary to ensure safe, ethical, and respectful explorations of local communities and environments. An effective way to discover new places is to approach these experiences with humility, curiosity, and an open mind. Instead of projecting our own expectations or assumptions onto the places we travel to, we can strive to gain knowledge from the people, cultures, and environments we come across. We can inquire, pay close attention to local viewpoints and narratives, and participate in respectful and mutually beneficial knowledge sharing. By fostering a culture of mutual learning and growth, we open doors for enhanced understanding, connection, and transformation one effective approach to discovering new locations is to carefully select where we want to go and what we want to do. Although embracing spontaneity and unexpected discoveries is important, it is also valuable to choose destinations that resonate with our interests, values, and aspirations for personal and intellectual development. We might decide to explore locations that challenge our existing beliefs or take us out of our usual routines, or we might opt for places that provide special chances for education, innovation, or making a difference. We need to consider our influence on local communities and environments and strive to reduce any harmful effects of our presence. We should be open to continuous self-reflection and growth, 
recognizing our limitations and biases, and striving to overcome them through education, dialogue, and action. Exploring new places goes beyond just collecting experiences or increasing our knowledge. It's all about embracing a mindset focused on curiosity, empathy, and interconnectedness. Actively seeking out and immersing ourselves in new environments and perspectives enriches our minds and hearts, contributing to a culture of understanding, collaboration, and global citizenship that can transform our communities and our world. Furthermore, the advantages of this habit reach well beyond personal and intellectual development. Exploring new locations not only allows for social and cultural interactions, but also promotes economic growth and environmental protection. We can use our experiences and insights to tackle challenging global issues. Support social and environmental justice and foster connections across borders and cultures. We can also encourage others to emulate our actions and adopt a mindset of curiosity and innovation in their personal lives and communities. By dedicating ourselves to this practice in any way possible, and by supporting and motivating others with the same dedication, we can establish a beneficial cycle of curiosity, development, and constructive transformation. We weave a fabric of human comprehension and unity that can endure the obstacles and rifts of our era, and that can ignite optimism and potential for future generations. Breaking down barriers of ignorance and prejudice, fostering empathy and understanding across differences, and creating a sense of shared humanity and purpose that transcends people's identities and experiences. By nurturing this practice with purpose and attention, we can enhance our own curiosity and also help create a fair, enduring, and united world for everyone. Lesson 9. Treat problem as challenges that need to be solved. To cultivate a curious mind, a key and transformative approach is to view problems as opportunities that require solutions. Changing how we perceive obstacles from being impossible barriers to opportunities for growth and innovation can greatly influence our intellectual growth and personal resilience. Embracing the challenges and intricacies of the problems we encounter helps foster curiosity, determination, and creative problem, solving skills crucial for success in various aspects of life. Instead of avoiding challenging situations or feeling overwhelmed by their intricacy, we can opt to tackle them with curiosity, openness, and even enthusiasm. Each problem can be seen as a puzzle to solve, a mystery to unravel, or a skill to master. By changing how we see things, we connect with our natural desire to explore, learn, and evolve, which helps us feel more in control and confident when dealing with difficulties. Viewing problems as challenges helps cultivate a growth mindset, which is crucial for nurturing a curious mind. Seeing challenges as chances to learn and grow helps us become stronger when dealing with obstacles and disappointments. We come to accept the discomfort and frustration that can come with problem-solving, recognizing them as indicators of growth and advancement. We also become more open to taking risks, trying out new ideas, and gaining insights from our mistakes, recognizing that every challenge is a chance to grow our expertise, abilities, and viewpoints. Furthermore, viewing problems as challenges can foster perseverance, grit, and adaptability, which are crucial for achieving long-term success and fulfillment. When we tackle challenges with determination and creativity, we build the mental and emotional strength to overcome tough times and discover creative solutions to difficult problems. We learn how to simplify complex tasks by breaking them down into smaller achievable steps and to acknowledge and appreciate each small success as we progress. We also learn to be more flexible and adaptable when faced with changing circumstances understanding that each new challenge presents opportunities for growth and discovery. Another great advantage of approaching problems as challenges is that it can promote collaboration, teamwork, and social responsibility. Today, 
Our world faces significant challenges such as climate change, social inequality, and public health crises. Addressing these issues demands collaboration and input from a wide range of people and communities. By tackling these challenges with curiosity, empathy, and a common goal, we can establish a problem solving culture that goes beyond personal interests and competition. We can learn to appreciate and respect the viewpoints and input of others and collaborate toward shared objectives and resolutions. Dealing with problems as challenges can be difficult and uncomfortable, especially when the stakes are high or the obstacles appear insurmountable. Embracing discomfort, uncertainty, and failure while persevering through setbacks and frustrations is essential. It might also involve changing our mindsets and habits, shifting from seeking immediate rewards to prioritizing long term learning and development. One helpful approach for dealing with issues as challenges is to tackle them with a sense of curiosity and open mindedness. Instead of rushing to conclusions or fixes, we can carefully examine the issue from different perspectives, inquire, and collect data. We can explore various viewpoints and ideas from different people and be open to questioning our own beliefs and prejudices. By fostering a mindset of curiosity and intellectual humility, we open up room for new ideas and possibilities to surface, making us more flexible and better able to adapt to evolving situations. Complex problems may seem daunting when viewed in their entirety, but breaking them down into smaller sub problems or steps can help create a clear path towards progress and success. We can pinpoint the main variables, constraints, and decision points in the problem and create a structured approach to tackle each one. We can establish specific objectives and checkpoints throughout the process and acknowledge every little achievement as progress towards the ultimate goal. Embracing the habit of viewing problems as challenges requires us to approach them with balance, self care, and perspective. Not all issues need to be resolved right away, and not every obstacle demands the same amount of work or resources. We need to focus on managing our time, energy, and resources by considering the importance, consequences, and compatibility of each challenge with our values and objectives. It's important to remember to take breaks, ask for help, and be kind to ourselves when things get tough. In the end, Viewing problems as challenges goes beyond simply honing problem, solving abilities, or reaching particular objectives. This involves developing a mindset focused on curiosity, resilience, and continuous learning and development. By embracing challenges and complexities, we can enhance our intellectual and creative capacities while fostering a culture of innovation, collaboration, and positive change. Furthermore, the advantages of this habit go well beyond personal and professional growth. Viewing problems as challenges opens doors for social and environmental impact, scientific discovery, and cultural transformation. We can use our skills and insights to tackle the most urgent challenges affecting our communities and our planet, such as poverty, inequality, climate change, and public health. We can also encourage others to imitate our actions and adopt a mindset of curiosity, creativity, and problem solving in their personal and professional endeavors. Certainly, just like forming any habit, shifting your perspective to view problems as challenges necessitates being intentional, putting in effort, and staying persistent. Dealing with challenging problems can be tough, especially when the results are uncertain or important. By dedicating ourselves to this practice and supporting others with the same commitment, we can establish a beneficial cycle of learning, development, and positive influence. Ultimately, the benefits of this habit are beyond measure. Viewing problems as challenges helps us enhance our problem solving skills and contribute to a more innovative, resilient, and equitable world. We establish an environment that fosters curiosity, teamwork, and a common goal to bring about worldwide advancements and transformations. As we start this journey of embracing challenges and nurturing an inquiring mind, let's tackle it with an attitude of openness, courage, and humility. 
Let's embrace challenges that push our limits and help us grow peopley and as a group. Always remember how curiosity, creativity, and determination can turn challenges into opportunities for learning, discovery, and positive change. In a world filled with complexity, uncertainty, and rapid change, viewing problems as challenges is crucial for achieving success and fulfillment in all aspects of life. By nurturing this practice purposefully and thoughtfully, we can enhance our critical thinking and problem-solving skills, while also fostering a more resilient, creative, and fair world for everyone. Let's welcome the challenges ahead and see them as chances to learn, develop, and create a positive impact on the world. Final lesson: Inquiring mind. As we near the conclusion of our discussion on the significance of curiosity and developing a questioning mindset, it's crucial to acknowledge that the process of learning and personal development is ongoing. The habits and practices we have covered in this book, such as recognizing our curious feelings, trying new things, making friends with different viewpoints, and viewing problems as opportunities, are not just short-term accomplishments. They require continuous dedication to intellectual and personal growth. Being curious involves embracing openness, wonder, and a strong desire to engage with the depth and complexity of human experience. Exploration and discovery can inspire all areas of our lives, including personal relationships, creative pursuits, professional endeavors, and social impact. By fostering our curiosity, we can broaden our minds and hearts, while also fostering a culture of learning, innovation, and positive change that can impact our communities and the world. Naturally. The journey of curiosity can be challenging and uncomfortable at times. We need to push ourselves beyond our comfort zones, challenge our assumptions and biases, and welcome the discomfort and uncertainty that come with growth and change. It may also involve navigating intricate social, cultural, and political landscapes, and participating in challenging conversations and collaborations across differences. By tackling these challenges with humility, empathy, empathy, and a dedication to mutual understanding and respect, we can build a fairer, kinder, and more interconnected world for everyone. As we continue on our path of continuous learning, let's not forget the amazing potential we each have to create a positive impact on the world through personal growth and self-discovery, creative and intellectual pursuits, or social and civic engagement. We all have the ability to influence the future and build a brighter world for future generations by nurturing our curiosity, sharpening our inquisitive minds, and embracing the path of continuous learning. We can unleash our potential and lead purposeful, meaningful lives with a positive impact.